calling upon the federal government to investigate the impact of Walmart's monopoly power in the food chain and in local retail markets from its disproportionate market share. We need a federal farm policy that reestablishes regional food systems that provide healthy and affordable food. We don't need Walmart in New York. We don't need Walmart in urban areas around the country. But we're not just here to talk about what we're against. We're also here to talk about what we're for. A vision of New York City that is shared by many residents across the five boroughs. Imagine a city with more good union jobs, more retail and grocery options in underserved areas, and a diverse marketplace in which more companies treat their suppliers and workers with respect and dignity. That's right. That is the city we are focusing on creating, the very same city Walmart is focused on destroying. How dare they? The largest retailer and the largest grocer in the universe now claim through multi-million dollar PR campaigns, lobbying, and all kinds of efforts to paint themselves as the savior of poor people Liars. and people of color. Liars. Our community will not be fooled. The danger of Walmart, especially coming to my East New York, where we already have 7,000 jobs that will be temporary construction jobs and 1,500 permanent jobs without Walmart. Walmart. Walmart truly respects our communities. They would be willing to sit down and sign a binding agreement that says we commit to quality jobs, we commit to unionization, we commit to health care, we commit to respecting all these issues that have come up from Water Watch. But the truth is, they come in, they talk a lot, and in every city they've come to, we don't see any agreements. What we see are promises, and we see a trail of broken promises once they're there. So Walmart, we know the difference here. We know what's real and what's just hype. And we do not need Walmart in New York City. Brooklyn does not need Walmart to tell us how to be healthy. Brooklyn and New York City is a strong urban agricultural movement. We need to make that stronger. Brooklyn and New York City has a strong entrepreneurial and innovative business community, and we need to empower them in our neighborhood. It comes as no surprise that um, the Food and Water Watch report found that Walmart is not the solution to food deserts, whether it be from factory workers in Bangladesh to warehouse and retail workers in the United States. Walmart has a proven record of committing labor rights violations against its own workers. Because of its dominance in the retail market, Walmart is able to drive down prices that it pays for its suppliers, which in turn drive down wages and working conditions throughout the food supply chain. 20 million people in the United States work in the food system. Many of these low-wage food workers live in food deserts because they cannot afford to live in neighborhoods where they have access to reasonable, fresh, healthy food. This is a vicious cycle that needs to be stopped. In my neighborhood, we know Walmart isn't the answer to getting healthy food, or the answer to getting good jobs, or the answer for helping live, uplift life in our community and uplift the quality of life in our community. We deserve better. Yes. East New York and all across the city needs to do away with Walmart. Not let it in. Say no to Walmart. We don't deserve Walmart. We deserve something better. We don't need someone who's racist, who discriminates against women, who overall is not good for the right. The press always asks us, well, wait a moment. Isn't the solution to hunger to get the lowest cost price for food? And how can you be standing here saying that's not the solution to hunger? Well, it's not. You know, we need a sustainable food system. Yes, that means we need healthy food at a fair price. That's right. But it also means we have to pay the people who produce that food 
and who sell that food a fair price. We'll never end hunger in this country if we don't pay the farmers enough to grow the food. And we'll never have end hunger in this country if we don't pay the workers in the food system a living wage. Right. You, know, you need the whole package. I look forward to hearing Mr. Walmart's response, which I'm sure will be forthcoming, of how the, the authors had this one all wrong, of how they really do love people, treat women right, and the people are well paid. And if they can show me that, then I would show them a bridge not far from here. <laughs> and they can have that bridge. Thank you.